Greetings, Grey Witch here. So today we're going to play some Martin Madrazo missions because they are two times cash and four times RP. And it should be pretty cool. Alright, so the first one we're going to do is Artificial Scarity. This is a pretty simple one. We just got to blow some stuff up. We got to go get a, a helicopter first. I got to call Pegasus. Man, it's been a while since I've called Pegasus. It's been a while since I did contact missions. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help you? Buzzard. Thank you, sir. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. All right. Okay, so I could have called in, like, my personal buzzard, but then I wouldn't be able to drive my cool car. And this is a pretty cool car. This is one of the rare ones you can only get once you complete the missions from the casino or win it off the wheel. Damn, look at me hit that guy. All right. And it's also weapon and armored, but armored kind of. You don't really want to get into anything crazy with this car. Alright, so let's go pick up the buzzard and then we will go blow up these trucks. For Martin Madrazo and his four times RP and two times cash missions. Ladies. Why couldn't this thing be on the ground? You know what's going to be cool is GTA 6 is going to be set in Florida. So there shouldn't be any mountains. So I shouldn't have any mountains or any dumb shit like that that I have to fly over. Which should be pretty cool. It's a nice sunset. That's not important right now. We've got to go cause some destruction. And I have been looking for a helicopter. I thought I was going to buy the weaponized Kanada, Kanada, whatever the hell it's called. And it, it sucks. It has the same fire rate as this, and I want something with a better fire rate. And then you have like the Akula and the other ones like that. I've never really driven the Hunter, so I don't know about, you know, what that would be cool about. But I don't know. It's difficult. Because the only one that's really good is the Savage, because it's got a really good fire rate, but it's slow as hell. No, I gotta find somebody. Oh, we got one trying to sneak away. That's not. We can't let that happen. We'll get this guy. All right, now let's go get this one trying to sneak away. So I need one that's. I need somebody who's got like the hunter that I can try out in the lobby because that's the only one that I haven't been able to try out. The yeah, cool is cool. I like being able to go off. You know. Got. It. Like being able to go off the radar. That's cool. But I'm not really. Uh, an online lobby player. I don't really go after people in lobbies. I mean, it's cool, but I don't know. I'm just really not a that kind of a player. Let's see if I get that. Nope. He's shoot me, and that makes me angry. All right, I gotta go get this guy. Cause I mean, you know, playing in lobbies and shooting, killing people and stuff like that. That's fun if you know the people that you're playing with are into that also, but majority of the lobbies that I go into, people are just working, they're just doing, you know, work to make money. And hell, I don't want I'd be really upset if somebody blew up my car while I was trying to just, you know, work my job. So, I pretty much don't mess with people in lobbies anymore. Used to. Oh, uh, there was times when I would be voted out of lobbies many times. It was kind of a crowning achievement back then. But nowadays, it's just, I don't know. Maybe I've gotten older and wiser. And maybe it's just, I don't know, it's just boring now, kind of. I mean, everybody's got oppressors and laser-guided shooting shit, so it's no fun. I want to say the best on online open lobby was probably... Two or three months after the original heist came out. Because then everybody had access to crazy shit and lobbies were just mayhem. It was awesome. But now everybody's got... I mean, there's some really good jets in here. You got the oppressor, scramjet, all kinds of other things. There's some really good vehicles. Get this without hitting these poles. Ah! 
times. Ooh, I thought I was going to hit that one. The old alley-oop. Alright, got one more and this one's over. Let's see how much RP we need. Cool. Yeah, about average. There we go. Boy, if you need to rank up, this is the way to do it. All right, now we're going to do the Los Santos connection because this is like the, the one that takes the longest, and I, I really like doing this one. But we also need to call in the buzzard again. We don't need it yet, but we're going to need it in a minute. So we might as well go ahead and get it out. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? There we go. Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope oh you're very God, happy, sir. Right? Okay, so let's head over to set that for in a minute. I think it's going to come off and turn off when I get out of the car, though. I don't know. We'll see in a second. We got to go to this drug deal. Now, I normally always go in that way. I'm going to come around at the other end this time. Switch it up a little. Ooh, I forgot. Everybody's this right here. My apologies. Let me back up real quick. Don't want my car in there because I'm going to be throwing around some explosives. I need to get my guns ready. Look at that dude just walk all the way down before he even tried to shoot me. Why can't I hit him? Until I've been playing Helldivers, I keep trying to press down on the damn joystick to run. Alright, let's get this. Nobody over there. Yoink. Let's see where we gotta go. Now more bad guys are coming. Alright, so rule number one of warfare. Don't take cover by anything explosive. I know I'm doing that while I take cover by something explosive. But if the person that you are fighting is using explosives, do not take cover near anything that can explode. You wanna play with me? Sure, play with this. Officially over. Alright, so let's jump in the wheels and let's go to get our cargo bomb. I mean, uh, bo buzzard, whatever the hell it is we're going to do. Ah, <sighs> people in there suck ass driving. This is the part I can't stand. See, I can't call in my personal cargo bob. I mean, uh, I don't know why I keep saying that. Calling in my personal buzzard because then I it puts my personal car away. Because you can't have both of them out at the same time for some reason. Even though they're completely different vehicles. They're like, nope, that's just too much on your mechanic. He can't handle that kind of shit. Gives him, makes him itchy. Alright, so now we're going to go do the other part of this. This is a long mission. You're, you're guaranteed you're going to knock out 16 minutes in this one. And 90% of it's because you're driving all over the damn map. Now it wants to get all foggy. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do is just lock on everything and just kill whatever I lock on to. And just circle around them, the area until everything's gone. It's way easier than trying to go up there and try to shoot everybody. So 
I can remember back in the day doing this mission without anything but just regular regular weapons before you could even get the fancy ones because I don't know they for some reason they made it to where you don't have to even rank up for weapons anymore which kind of sucks Gotcha, bitch. Can't get that one now. Gotcha in that time. The fire rate on this helicopter sucks so bad. And you know what's kind of crazy? This 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 blows me away. I own two sparrows. I own the Sea Sparrow, and I own the Sparrow that goes into my submarine. Why the hell can I not park my water sub my water Sparrow in the submarine? That seems like that would be the one that you would want to use in the submarine. You know, the one that can land on water, not the one that just has regular struts or whatever the hell it is that you land on on a helicopter. I don't know what to call it. No, more bad guys are coming. I forgot these guys showed up. All right, now we gotta do some actual fighting. Oh damn, I missed that bad. These guys are gonna be right on top of me. All right, let's go back to this. It's pretty good range, kinda. There we go. Watch this dumbass run right up here. Here it comes. <laughs> Dipshit. Somebody else coming out? No, oh, they're on the road. See, it's it's got some range, but I wonder. Let's see. What do we got here? Special carbine. Oh, that thing I got no range. Look at that. No. Uh, there we go. Go back to the air 15. One more. Damn. That's a good shot. Shoot that. Parry that, you filthy casual. <laughs> Alright. Now we gotta do the old suck hacking. Yeah, do the thing. Oh, I hate these. Oh, hey. <laughs> that was awesome. I really hate those. Really bad. Wow, this is going really slow. Oh, I got it. Got it. Ah. I bet this is real fun with people shooting at you. That's why I killed all the bad guys. Because, oh, back to what I was talking about a minute ago. It would be really cool to use my Sparrow, the one that I have inside of my uh, submarine. Just, you know, park that in my hangar and use call that out to use on missions. That would be awesome, because that one has a really good fire rate. It's kind of fragile, doesn't really like doing stuff, but otherwise, it's, it's good. It's good for missions. But no, they're like, no, you can have... The one that has no weapons and can go on the water for your hangar. And we're going to keep the one that can't land on water for your submarine. It's the dumbest shit ever, Rockstar. Alright, I'm done bitching about that. Oh, I'm so glad I'm flying the helicopter so I ain't got to deal with those guys on the ground. trying to remember this mission. Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta blow up the... There's a plane. Well, I'm glad I was kind of paying attention to where I was going. See, my body knew where I was going, but my brain didn't know where I was going yet. Muscle memory knew it. It was like, yeah, we've done this. We know where we're going. My brain was like, I have no idea what's going on. This is my first time doing this. 
Excellent. Plane is down, so now we don't have to chase that thing at the end, which sucks. Now we just get to blow stuff up. Yay! Just lock on and kill them all. Man, I'm liking that 100 points for RP for killing the bad guys. Should rank up pretty good. See, if I had the Savage right now, I'd already be done. It would have just wrecked that entire inside of that building. Just constant rockets. Same with the, the damn Sparrow. We can't call that out in missions. No, that's not available. It doesn't exist. Uh, I think that is it. All the bad guys are dead. Well, the majority of them. Alright, let's run in here and see what's happening. I'm gonna run up carefully. No sense in getting shot. Shouldn't be anybody in here. Do a quick thermal scan. See anything? Aw, of course that dude up there is alive. I thought I hit him with a rock, son of a bitch. Shoot me while I'm trying to pick up cocaine. This is my Booker Sugar. Let's see if I can shoot this guy. Oh, he's gonna do it like that. He's just gonna shoot over the thing with deadly accuracy. Oh, there's two of them up there. All right, so we're gonna armor up and we're just gonna take the shotgun and run up there and just berserker it. I'm reloading. Cool. Come on, bring it. Let's see what you got. Die! He didn't last. You yep, you're down. Hoskos, yeah, he's down. Oh, here comes the helicopter. Gotta hurry and get down here before he gets all shooting me. Ooh, 16 bucks. Where's the, hel the helicopter? I hear him. Cannot see them. It's a ghost helicopter. I can see it on the map, and I can hear it, but I can't... There, where's it at? Alright, let's grab the old thingamabobber. It's not out there. I don't know where it is. I can hear it. I have no clue. Alright. If it's not there, then it's not a threat. Let's jump in the helicopter. Let's take this one. This one's nice and fresh. Let's go and investigate where this other helicopter is. Oh, he didn't even take off. He's over there at the run. At the... Yeah. The Witchmajigger. Look at that. Both rockets missed. They've nerfed this shit so bad. Ah, dogfight time. Nope, you ain't shooting me with a rocket. Nope, nope, nope. Ain't happening. Gotcha. See, back in the day, when it used to be just buzzards and jets, it was an actually... You know, you had good dogfight. I actually remember taking down a few jets. Not people who were really good at flying, but, you know, there, I got a couple. Not to toot my own horn or anything. And now with the oppressor, the buzzard is, is just a target. I've tried to kill those things using my guided missiles from the sub. The only way I've been able to hit an oppressor is there's a way to self-detonate the missile when you get close, and that that's it. I cannot 
physically hit them. All I can do is just blow the missile up when I get as close as I can, and then hopefully it takes them out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But I have not been able to hit anybody on an oppressor with one of those rockets yet. They're just, it's just too nimble. That's why I hope they're not in GTA 6. At least not for a while. Old Madrazo. Perfect. Perfect. A pleasure doing business with you. You too, sir. Sweet. Let's see how much RP. Cha ching. Eleven thousand RP. All right. So now we're gonna do cleaning the cat house, just cause I like doing this mission. I also, we're going to have to call in the buzzard again. It's funny I'm doing all these missions with the buzzard. I have to do at least one without it. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Thank you, sir. You Your son spectacular of a bitch. aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. I don't know why I keep using the GPS. I think because it, it makes me feel better. I know where I'm going. It's not like I don't know these roads. Hell, I know these roads almost as good as the town I live in. I saw a video the other day where it was you driving, somebody was driving in LA coming up basically where the beach with the pier and all that is. And the title of the video is, uh, I can take it from here, I know the way. Because pretty much everybody who's played GTA knows where you're at from there and can probably find their way around LA. I've, I've heard from a few people who actually live there, they say that it's close, but there's like a lot of stuff that's missing. So, I don't know, I've never been to the West Coast. But it must be crazy, like, people who actually live there and are like, oh shit, that's my house. <laughs> and people are dropping bombs on it and stuff. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. All right. Now we get to fly all the way to the desert, so we can fight the lost. Well, blow them up with rockets is what they're going to do. Anyways, I'm in no mood for a regular shoot. No, I mean, it's, it's just happened this way that each of these missions has been with the, the buzzard. I promise I'll do one mission at least with no special weapons like this. So we're just gonna fly on out there, take our time, look at the city, like right over here. You can see this is where the LS Customs is. Has anyone ever gone on a helicopter tour? Because I'd like to, but I'm afraid. I'm just, I'm not one of those people who like to get into planes and stuff. I sure as hell don't feel that I would feel comfortable in a helicopter. Because I mean, I think a plane, at least, if it runs out of power, it can at least glide. But a helicopter just turns into a rock. I don't know. You usually don't hear about survivors of a helicopter crash unless some really good shit happened. They usually would be like, yeah, there was 27 people on the plane. Everybody was good. They coasted it into the thing. There were four people on the helicopter. Everybody turned to jelly. <laughs> Not saying that planes don't crash. That's another reason why I don't fly because, you know, I can drive. I know it'll take longer, but... If my car runs out of gas, it doesn't drop out of the sky. Or if there's a major mechanical problem. Like, I've had a tire blowout going 60 miles an hour, and I just, you know, slowed down and got over on the side. If I'm doing 600 miles an hour and my engine blows up, you're just fucked. <laughs> Alright, so let's kill the bad guys. right over the railroad tracks. Back in stuff. Ooh, watch out for the telephone pole. 
You also have to be careful of where she is, because you do not want to shoot a rocket into that, because there's a bad guy in there, and if you shoot the rocket in there, you can kill her. And that's no good. Could you imagine? You're just asleep in your tent in this town and some dude shows up with a helicopter and just starts wrecking the hotel at the end of the building with rockets. I mean, just... I don't know about your town, but my town, every cop in the state would show up. Because not too much happens here. And, but when something does, every cop has to be involved. Like, if you get pulled over by the cops here, there's at least going to be three cop cars behind you. Just because there's... It's excitement. I mean, I'm not in a dusty little old sleepy town. It's a pretty good sized town. It's just, there's just not too much going on. All right, now all I gotta do is land up here and she should come right up to the top and just get in the helicopter and make it fly off and be happy. All I gotta do is just shoot the guys that show up until she gets up here. Why the hell isn't she up here yet? Come on. Every time I've done this mission, she's come right up here. Oh, look at me jump all the way to the ground. Now I gotta go back up. What are you doing down here? You're supposed to be on the friggin' roof. Why do you keep going in there where the bad guys are? Come up here. Come on. You saw me. Let's go. Come on. What the hell are you doing? Kill you. What are you doing? Now somebody shooting me. That pisses me off. This woman. Drown you in your own blood. Fucking punk. I swear. Oh, I'm gonna shoot you. Get on the roof. Where'd she go? I swear to God, I'm gonna shoot this woman. You stupid motherfucker. That's it. If you don't get up here, I'm leaving you. Oh my God, she ran back inside. I am going to lose my shit. What in the hell are you doing? Want a date, clumsy? There's no time for that kind of talk. Get your ass in the helicopter! Oh my god. I'm, I'm a shooter myself. If you... Oh my god! I can't believe this woman will not get up in this fucking helicopter. And I can't believe I fell down again! Son of a bitch! Come on, stick your head out. Dumb son of a bitch. Get on the... You better follow me up onto this roof. I swear to God. Piece of shit. Fuck you. I'm leaving. I don't care. I'll kill you, motherfucker. Nope. I don't give a shit. Oh, oh, okay. Now you got it. I see you. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you understand now. Dumbass. Ain't ever seen no shit like that before in my life. Got my blood pressure up. Alright. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say about that. Thanks. Yeah, get out. At least I made 28,000. That's not bad. Alright, so I figured we'd do, for my final one, the most famous of all GTA Online missions. Rooftop Rumble. Now I start this off from a different way because I'm used to driving over here and it just kind of put me over there, so... We gotta go to the other side. Because so I do this a real certain way.
All right. Now we're coming in just like normal. All right, so the first thing I do is I come over here and I throw two proximity mines because this is a tool that we're going to need for later. There's one about right there. And right about in there, just in case. Because there's going to be some bad guys that come up here and this will take care of them and you ain't got to worry about them. And it makes it easier, trust me. Just, just do it. Just do it! Alright, so let's trigger this. Boom. Over here. Hey, lady. Yeah, this is good. Alright. Let's cause some chaos. Get the, the old RPG. Excellent. Hmm. Should have gotten more guys. Let's break it back out and... There. Ah, there we go. Right there. Aw, I hit the column. Right there. Hmm. Must not have been blowing up that one vehicle. Ah, there it is. Now there's only one poor schmo in there. We'll run up and shoot him just so, you know. I imagine he's terrified right now. All of his friends just died in horrific explosions. And now the sole culprit just shot. Oh, that's weird. Where are you guys coming from? Okay. That was weird. Oh, I missed that. Go. And the other ones just blew themselves up driving onto the proximities. Now all we have to do is chase the guy down and get the thing. Now I could shoot him, but the car that I'm in, I can't shoot him with this car. Because if I shoot one bullet out of this car and hit that car in front of me, it will explode like it's made out of cray paper and balsa wood. Carrying a, a bunch of nitroglycerin or some shit. I don't know, I've never seen a car that detonates from four or five rounds from a pistol, but this one will. So I'm just gonna follow him. And, you know, make a little bit more RP. But I remember this mission being way harder back when I was like level 50, trying to run this mission and make some money. I can remember running a mission called Pot Shot with this one guy. We ran it, I know, 25 times, just so we could make money to upgrade our cars. That's how long ago that was. Many, many moons ago we did that. That guy can't drive for shit. I could have killed him like 50 times, but we're going to be patient. Follow him. I'm going to kill him as soon as we get where we're going. But for right now, I'm not. I'm going to be calm and respectable. And I, I, one thing that I really, really hope that they get good for GTA 6 is first person. Because the driving in first person in GTA Online sucks. It's like you're all smashed up against the steering wheel. It, it, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Especially because I play like... Uh, Gran Turismo 7 and other games like that where I'm using a racing wheel so I would really like to be able to use my racing wheel in GTA 6 so hopefully they'll make it at least to where you can do it in racing it would, it would be really cool and it sure does do be taking a long time to be coming up here and getting this guy We're almost there. My car idles too fast for this <laughs> car. Turn, son of a bitch. Alright, no, 
now it's time for everybody to die. Okay. Anybody still alive? No? Nope. Cool. Let's do the looting. Oh, cool beans. A little bit of cash. Alright, now we just gotta drive to Madrazo's house and there's nobody chasing us or anything. That's pretty much the end of the mission, so I'm gonna open this thing up and get to drive it. If you're wondering what vehicle this is, it is the Enos Paragon R. And this is the armored version with guns, which is they're not bad, but like all the guns in the car, they the cars they just they kinda suck. They don't really do anything good. But it does handle really well. And it can take a few extra rounds more than the regular version can. Because I used to have this version and a regular version, but I won the second one and off the wheel and I was like, well hell, there's no reason to have three of them. So I just kept the two higher end ones. Alright. Again. That's pretty much the end of the mission. Damn, it's almost been 40 minutes. Hey! Speed limit on this road is 25 miles an hour. That's ridiculous. I think this is supposed to be the Pacific Coast Highway. I'm not sure. I sure do be like driving this thing. Ooh, I almost got a little squirrely there. But we're almost here now. I'm kind of curious to see how much RP I'm going to make from this mission. Didn't really take us that much time. Alright, here we are. Boom. Oh, Madrazo. In an appropriate way, I mean. If I didn't, you would be dead, of course. All right. Well, this is Great Witch. I hope this video was as fun for you as it was for me. And I will see you next time. Peace.